Hello and welcome back students who are taking math for business and finance math applications and we're doing the chapter 7 drill problems, the add number problems and we uh, in the last video we finished we did 7-1 and I'm going to just quickly go through 7-3 because it is virtually identical. Um, so let me erase all of this here and go back and watch that video in order to be able to get a deeper ex the, the previous video to get a deeper explanation of I didn't want to erase those but that's okay All right, I'll just write them back in um, that was 0 0.9603 and that's 0 0.39 0 0.0397 0 0.0397 and that was $23 and 78 cents and that was the net price is 575 and 22 cents okay so we're going um, yeah go back and watch the other video um, for more in depth I'm just going to work through this one okay so um, the inverse or the complement of uh, seven percent is ninety three percent, and so the discount, uh, the decimal of it is zero point nine three, and then we're going to multiply that by the complement or the inverse of three percent, which is ninety seven percent. So that's zero point nine seven, and then we're going to multiply that by the inverse of one percent, which is ninety nine uh, percent, or zero point nine nine. And if we punch that all into a calculator, we end up with 0 0.893079. Okay, so that is our net price equivalent rate, 0 0.893079. And to get the net price, we will take the list price of 269 and multiply it by that 0 0.893079. Now I realize I'm not doing the math, punch this in because normally I align things up, but punch it into the calculator, okay? Um, I'm not doing this math by hand, all right? So I end up with $240.24. So that gives me my net price, $240.24. And of course, the difference between my net price, I'm sorry, my list price and my net price is my discount, right? So I have 269 minus 240.24. And let's see, that's going to give me, let's see, that's 76 and that's 28. So that's going to give me $28.76 as my trade discount how much I'm getting off and for my single equivalent discount rate it's just you know one subtracting my net price equivalent rate of 0 0.893079 and that gives me uh, 0 0.1 Zero six nine two one. So that's zero point one zero six nine two one. Okay. So that's the math behind uh, seven dash three. And again, if you need the theory, go back to the previous video and watch how I worked out seven dash one. All right. Okay. Let's see here. Uh, seven dash five. Okay, so what do we have here? We have our item, our list price, our chain discount, single price equivalent rate, single equivalent discount rate. Okay, so uh, these here, the price, trade discount. Um, <laughs> okay, the price, trade discount. All right. Let me see here. Let me. I'm going to put you on hold because apparently I copied 
the same table put the information in it but I'm, just give me one quick second here okay I'm back um, yeah so um, the, really all I needed for these problems was the list price the chain discount the trade discount and the net price I didn't um, need to have columns here for this net price equivalent rate and the single equivalent discount rate but no matter because I need to at least calculate the net price equivalent rate in order to be able to figure out the trade discount and the net price so these two problems are basically the same as what we did for 7.1 and 7-3 and with that being the case I'm just going to work right through them um, without uh, spending any time in an explanation of theory because it's the same theory as 7-1 all right, so 7-5. All right, I have 8%, five, 8, 5, and 6 is my chain discount. So that ends up being, <clears throat> excuse me, um, the inverse of 8% is 2%, so that's 0.90, uh, 92%. Um, the inverse of 5% uh, is 95%. And the inverse of 6% is 94%. So if I... Uh, punch those all into the calculator um, I end up with 0 0.82156 okay so that would be my net price equivalent rate which by the chart I don't need so then I take my $450 and I multiply it by that 0 0.82156 and this is going to give me my net price okay which is let's see here $361 and $369 and 70 cents so this here is 369.70 and of course the difference between the two is my discount amount which would be eighty dollars and thirty cents right so that's eighty dollars and thirty cents now you saw me take the list price minus my net price to get my discount I could have worked this problem by taking by working with the single equivalent discount rate of taking the 1.0 um, and subtracting the 0 0.82156 which would have given me let's see here 0 0.17844 okay and that would have been my single equivalent discount rate okay now obviously that's my discount rate so I would have taken I could have taken the 450 and multiplying that by the 0 0.17844 and that would have given me eighty dollars and thirty cents as my discount okay so I could have arrived at my discount in one of two different ways all right I could have just figured out my net price and then subtracted it from my list price which to me is easier um, because I'm not dealing with such big long numbers um, or I could have figured out my net price and there there's a hint okay I could have figured out my net price equivalent rate right and then figured out then um, took the opposite which is my discount rate my single equivalent my discount rate so whichever is, is best for you um, uh, neither is right or wrong they just are what they are and but I have a tendency to just since I'm I'm finding figuring out the net price rate it's easier just to subtract my uh, uh, net price from my list price to get my discount amount all right so 7-7 .7, we have the same situation uh, the op the complement of 12 percent is 88 so that's 88 0.88 um, of 9% is 0 0.91 and 6% is 0 0.94 so when I multiply that all together um, I end up with 
zero point seven five two seven five two and then I take the list price of eighteen fifty and I I multiply that by the zero point seven five two seven five two and I end up with my uh, net price of one thousand three hundred and ninety two dollars and fifty nine cents so I have one thousand three hundred ninety two dollars and fifty nine cents and of course I could take the eighteen fifty and subtract the one three nine two point five nine and when I do that I end up with forty one there and then that gives me uh, seven, five, and four. So my discount amount is 457.41. Now remember, this here is my net equivalent, net price equivalent rate. And to find my single equivalent discount rate if I need to, I just subtract that number from one. And that would give me the single equivalent discount rate. Okay, so that's it, and I'll move on to 7-9 in the next video.